And then you get to another starting running back that's going earlier than the fifth round, way earlier than the fifth round, and has his own injury issues. And that's Jarek McKinnon, right? Like, Jarek McKinnon was a player that everybody wanted a piece of it the second he signed with the San Francisco 49ers. And I understand why. We've been waiting for this guy to be a bell cow since he entered the league. But every opportunity that he's gotten... It's not that he's gotten hurt, it's that he's been relatively ineffective. You could say he's been typecasted because of his body shape, but Latavius Murray, at times last year for Minnesota, was simply better. Now, Jerry McKinnon, I said before, you follow the money, gets paid in San Francisco. But that first preseason game, he already goes down. But in his defense, so did Matt Breida, and so did Joe Williams. By the time the season starts, Jerry McKinnon should be healthy. But for how long? Frank, I know that you have said on our shows multiple times, you think Matt Breida may be the breakout guy in San Francisco. Not necessarily Jarek McKinnon, and not necessarily at his draft stock. When I told you over the weekend, hey, I almost drafted Jarek McKinnon, you said, quote, why, Greggy, why? And to me, the, the price was good, but do you not believe in this guy at all? I'm just, I'm worried about what we've seen from him in years past. I know people want part of the Kyle Shanahan offense. They want the running back in his offense. He's going to catch passes out of the backfield. I think Jarek McKinnon can do that, but are you going to pay a second, third round value for a guy? I think he's just a pass catching running back. Yes, they paid him, but they still do have Matt Breida on this team as well. They signed Alfred Morris. They've been using Jeremy McNichols' first team in practice as well. Uh, we saw him in that first preseason game. He did not look good, to be fair. Not really. No running back for the San Francisco 49ers looked great, but we're not going to see him again throughout this preseason process. You're going to use a third round pick for a guy that, you know, we really haven't seen much out of. I just, I'm not buying it. He hasn't been efficient at, at the NFL level. And you mentioned, we talk about Latavius Murray like he's a jag, just another guy. He outperformed Jarek McKinnon last year as purely uh, between the tackles runner, uh, as a pure running back. I think Jarek McKinnon catches the ball out of the backfield. I'm not paying a early third round prospect price tag, late second round price tag on a guy who I think is not going to hold up and be the workhorse running back for the team. And I think it makes a lot of sense. I don't I don't think you can rely on him, certainly not at that ADP.